In this lesson, we're going to learn duplication techniques. All right, so we're just about finished with the lid. We've got all of the major forms and we're ready to go. And now we just want to finish it off completely by duplicating some different elements. So in the last lesson, we ended with a little bit of an issue. Um, we had created this element and it took quite a bit to actually create that element. But now we want to get into uh, recreating that element across the board here. We don't want to repeat those steps over and over again because these elements are supposed to be exactly the same. So there must be a way that we can duplicate this one and have it copy over to the others. So let's go ahead and talk about that process and how we can do that. So to get started here, um, let's make sure that we are ready uh, for this piece right here. Let's make sure that we are absolutely happy with it. And as you can see, the hole is not fitting around the bar itself. So let me go to polygon mode and let's hit F3. And we should have those polygons selected on the inside. But if not, let's select one, hold shift, and then select the one next to it. And that should select all the way around. With those polygons selected, let's grab our scale tool on the X and Y, making sure that we're still in our local direction. And we're going to scale that out until it goes on the outside of that bar. Perfect. So now what we want to do is we want to come in and we want to duplicate this part over to the rest of these. So a way that we can do that is with these polygons still selected, let's hit grow and let's select all the polygons that make up that object or that part of this object. Let's grab our move tool and I'm going to hold down shift and drag that out. Notice how I'm creating a new object using those polygons. Now at this point I'm going to make sure that this is set to a new object. Okay, We're just going to keep it as object 001 for right now because it's just going to be temporary. Let's hit OK and uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the polygons on this part. So these are the old part, uh, the old polygons on the lid. We're going to remove those and there we go. Let's go ahead and take these polygons and let's remove those. But before we do that, let's make another duplication of this. So I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to drag this over. And again, we're going to make that, uh, let's make it uh, just a copy for right now. And we'll go to polygon mode. Oops, let's turn that off. Let's grab our lid and then go to polygon mode. Select those polygons and delete. So now you see that we have the lid, but now we have two different elements that are not part of the lid any longer. So how do we how do we take care of this? Well, first thing that I notice with this part is that we're just a little bit off. So let's select that object. Let's go to vertex mode and select all of the vertices on that end. Let's move those out in the Z. But before we do that, um, let's make sure that we are uh, that we don't have any constraints on. Now with those vertices, we're trying to move those out in the Z, but they're kind of moving out in an odd direction. So let's go to polygon mode, hit 4 on the keyboard, and let's select all those polygons on the very edge. You can select one and hold shift to get the rest of those, and it should select all of those in that loop and then move those out in the Z. Sometimes vertices will scale if you move those in a local reference coordinate system. So now that we have that set, let's turn off polygon mode, select our lid, and we're going to use what's called attach. Now attach is going to make multiple pieces of geometry one object. So I'm going to use attach, let's select this object and this one, and now you can see that we can now access the vertices of both uh, these two elements as well as the entire lid. Now while these are one object we still have three elements. So to demonstrate this I'm going to go to element mode and I'm going to select this object here. Notice how that selects the entire lid but still doesn't select these two pieces. They are still their own element. The reason that they are still their own element is because they are not actually welded to the lid. So let's go ahead and weld those vertices. Okay, So we're going to weld the vertices that make contact. So with these selected, I'm going to do a region select around those. And notice that here it says two vertices selected. 
let's simply hit weld and now it says vertex 92 selected now vertex 92 is the actual vertex ID it's not the amount that is selected so anytime that you see vertex and then a number that means that that is a single vertex to demonstrate this let's select this vertex here and you'll see it says vertex 66 let's continue around the bottom of this piece and you'll see it's now two vertices selected. Let's do weld and let's continue around the bottom of this element. Now we could also come in and we could select all of these that we still haven't welded yet. And we can simply hit weld and you'll see that it goes from eight to four. So now if we go to element mode we deselect that and then reselect the lid you'll see that that is now one element. Let's continue with this on this last piece. Let's go to vertex mode and select all of these around the bottom and weld those. So now that those have been selected, there's one thing that I want you to pay attention to. Notice how we're off just a little bit on this gap. We want to make sure that our vertices are really, really close together and pretty much right on top of one another because what's going to happen is it's going to uh, bring those together and it's going to change the shape of our object a little bit. So let's go back to polygon mode. Let's select just this one, hold shift and select the next one in line and I'm going to move that in the Z direction to where it's right on that line. Now let's go to vertex mode and let's continue with our selections. So go around the outside edge And it looks like this one's off just a little bit too. So let's select this one. And let's pull that back across there. All right, now let's go back to vertex mode. It should have saved our selection previously, so we don't have to reselect those. Let's hold down control, left click and drag around those vertices. And we have 12 vertices selected. So if there are two at each point, and we hit weld it should go down to six vertices selected. So now this object has been welded together and it is now one element. Alright so now that we've built the lid we need to finalize it by fixing the swivel on this lid. So looking at this our pivot point is right here along the bottom but we need it to swivel around the bar. So let's select the lid and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to hierarchy affect pivot only and let's align the pivot to this handle or this um, this arm so let's go ahead and go to align up here and then we're going to select that cylinder 003 and then we're going to set it to X Y and Z and then we're going to go from pivot to pivot okay let's hit OK on that and actually, I don't want to do X, Y, and Z. Let's do, let's turn off Y. We don't need that one. I want it to keep the same pivot position in the center of the lid, but I still want it to be um, in the center or on the pivot point of the actual handle or the arm. So let's hit OK on that. Okay. So if we had changed um, that in the Y, what it would have done is gone ahead and brought the pivot point over here to the center. Okay, and I want it to be on the center of the lid. So now one final element that we need to take care of, let's turn off effect pivot only, is duplicating the actual other side of the lid. So to do this, let's hold down shift, drag that over, and let's position it to where the lid has a little bit of a gap. Now once we've done this, let's make sure that that is set to instance, because if we make one change to the other, uh, we want it to make the same change over here. Okay, and vice versa. So now that we have that centered up, we've got the little gap there. We might go to our top view just to see that a little bit easier. I want the same space between this line and the edges of the lid there. So we're going to get a little bit of a gap. Everything's looking good. And let me pull that down because it's right on that metal piece. Same thing for this one. And there we 
we go. So now we have created the main forms of the dumpster with high detail. Now you could come in and you could use um, some chamfer tools to kind of soften up some of the edges. I would suggest doing that um, along the tops here. Now I would not suggest using chamfer along this loop. What I would suggest doing is coming in and going to edge mode and selecting those rings just like so and using connect let's split that into two and take our pinch and let's spread that apart to somewhere right in here okay let's hit OK on that and then what we'll do is we'll go to polygon mode select just these polygons right in here okay let's do that for all three of these So holding down control, holding down shift to select that loop. And then I'm going to scale that polygon in the Y first, just like so. And then we're going to take the edges across the top, just like this, on all of those. And then we'll move those down. So again, this is just one of those situations to where the chamfer tool is not the best way of doing it, and we just need to come in manually and take care of this issue. So with those edges selected, you'll see that we have a little bit of an issue. Our move tool is at a very funny angle, and it's not giving us the direction that we desire. So instead, let's move this to the view, and then let's turn on our constraints. So let's go to Edge Constraints. And I'm going to pull that straight down in the Z direction. And that should give us the angle that we're looking for there. All right, very good. So we've softened up those edges. And there we go. You can soften up the edges of this piece here and around the edge of the, uh, the, the lid. But I think we're OK. I think it looks pretty good. So now that we've finished that major form, we have one more section that we need to take care of. And that's going to be the wheels for the dumpster. So we'll go ahead and we'll create those next.